What's going on everyone? In today's video we're going to be fishing Skyway Metal Rocks. As you see it's a little windy out here. And I'm using my 4K Twin Power Shimano Terez rod and 40 pound leader. That thread fins are bait so make sure to stay tuned. Oh yeah, got one on. First mango of the day. There you are. First little mango. Bites went a little slow, but let's see if it can pick up. Oh yeah. Another mango. Bites heating up, baby. Another keeper. Let's get him on hook. Here he is. Boom. What I'm using, little white yellowtail jig, 20 pound leader, and then cut up a bunch of thread fin chunks, throwing those out, and we're just chumming up these mangoes. Let's get another bait on. And it doesn't really matter what piece you use, you can use any piece you really want. Passing it out, letting the current take it, trimmed it all back. Hold the reel like this, just let it out till you feel them start running with it. They're biting it, biting it. And let's see if they'll take it. I'll kind of rip the line out of your hand. They're toying with it. They took it. Put another piece on. Alright, gonna let it drift back. Back down. Come on. Oh, grabbed it again. Ooh. I'm gonna have to cut up some more bait, but they're chewing right now. All right, so what I'm doing right now, got a bunch of thread fins in the bucket and just taking them. Got some snips, cut them into like three, four pieces to maximize your bait. And then what I do is I cut the heads pretty small, so then I just chum the heads and then the little tail pieces and use the rest of the chunks for bait. Just let them think that they're getting a little freebie meal, but Actually, you're going to be catching them, so you can't escape for long. All right, grab three, four chunks. Those are good big chunks. So this is what I mean when I say like the little head chunks. Just as you can't really use that as bait, so it's chum. And then the little tail pieces, throw those as chum. And then what you want to use are the chunks like this. Had a good solid chunk. Put it on your hook, like so. Uh, then you let it drift on out there. Or is that 300 feet or meters? I think it's meters. That was a blue fish. A oh, what? Yeah. Just had a blue fish break me off. These frigid northern waters. 
What did you think it was? I don't know. I thought it was a big mango. No, it was just a spool of bluefish. I bet you this diver will swim right between us. I don't think so. I've seen him do it. Just had a bluefish break me off, so that's how you know it's winter time. Let's see if we can not catch a bluefish and catch a mango. Oh yeah. Good mango. <laughs> That's a fatty. Look at that mango. All right, here's this mango. Probably around the 14 incher. Gonna get him released. There he goes, back down to the bottom. See that? Yeah. He'll come right through here. a good sized mango. Let's see if we can get another one like that. Ooh. You're getting fired up now. Oh yeah. Oh, Jack Travel. Multi speed. This is the first Jack Ravel on this boat. That's a whole hitler bait. That's what I used for the bull sharks last year. Here's this little Jack Ravel. As you see, he got grabbed by a shark or something like that. Missed him though. So let's get him released. We got a little seal in the water, as you can see. <laughs> Fish don't care though. Wow, look at this guy. Look, he's got his big stringer. Like, hey, he's got fish. Mango. Here's my mango. That's actually a decent old mango, yeah. I wonder how much he can see them. A little fish. I don't know. I don't think the viz would be too great. Should we take his mango, yeah. y'all? It's too epic. Free mango right there. 17 incher. That's funny. I told you, they don't care. They come right next to you. Oh, there's a Cape Horn. Your boat. Another mango. Wow, the little guys are out. That's a 31 Cape Horn, Dad. Yeah. A lot of people on board. What are they targeting? I don't know. Here's that little guy. I'd be a perfect little pet. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. As that was actually my first trip of the year, 
on the round New Year's, I got COVID, so that's why I've not been uploading for the past few weeks. Had to recover from that and then quarantine, as you know. But now I'm good to go. But I'm also back to classes, so I have four classes a week, so it's going to be a little difficult to get weekly videos out, but I should be able to do it. So make sure to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button below as I upload weekly videos, and I'll see you next time.